Uh, there's a place in your house where it's cool to chill, get some me time or even cook a meal. It's your kitchen mofo, ain't no time to slack, so just grab yourself a penny and let's work that ass. If you're scared of this place, ain't no need to bother, just lay down your weapons and pick up another. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. We're in the kitchen right now, but we're going outside today, my friends. I've got my walking boots on, like so, so we're going to do some walking and uh, we're going to cook as we walk. Yeah. Um, one of my favourite questions to ask people is what is the best thing you've ever eaten? And one of the best replies I had off a work colleague was when he had fresh fish and literally put lemon juice on it and the acid within it sort of cooks or slash really pickles the fish and it's supposed to be amazing, that's what he said. Although he was in a boat in the Caribbean. Now I can't do that, but what I can do is try and replicate it in a tin foil pack. So I've got some fresh cod and salmon straight from the fishmongers here, cha -ching, and a lemon. So what I'm going to do is squirt this lemon juice over, put it in a foil packet, and then we're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna have a little salsa with it as well. So let's just do it, and we'll go for a little ramble. This is gonna be a short video, and if it doesn't work, please don't try it. I'm kinda of scared. Yeah. Okay, my friends, so I've got my fish there, and what I've done is got my lemon. I've already done one half. There's uh, the evidence if you wanna see it. I'm just getting the other half of the lemon, just squirting that lemon juice on there, and as I say, the acid content within it is supposed to cook away the chicken. And I've even got a pip in there, so let's get that out. Don't want that. Just push you away like that. So what we'll do, I won't put my saucepan in it right now, we'll wrap that foil packet up like so, to make sure it's well and truly sealed. Okay, so that's sealed, but I'm gonna, probably going to double wrap it, so I'm going to get another sheet of foil. You don't need to watch me do that step, I'm just going to double wrap it, baby. Beautiful, so that's double wrapped, you probably might not be able to tell the difference too much, it's just a little fatter, and I'm also being cautious because I don't want to be sort of like hiking, you know, walking up the hill, and all of a sudden there's like lemon juice all over my bag, that is going to smell, although better than fish on its own wood. Anyhow, we've just got some quick ingredients here to make a little salsa to have with it, so I've got some cherry tomatoes, which I'm just going to chop into this uh, mini chopper thing I've got here, I'll just put them in a minute, some coriander, I'll stuff that in there, and half an onion, which I've roughly chopped, because the chopper is going to do the rest. Let's make a salsa, and then we'll get walking. Yep, so let's give this salsa a whiz. Okay, so I've just made this salsa. If you wanted to, you have a teaspoon of sugar in there just to give it a little bit of a sweet kick, but that, my friends, is gonna go well with our fish. If the fish doesn't work, I could just sit there and eat salsa, right? Let's go. Okay then, guys, just before we set off, I just wanna show you, I've packed my uh, dinner, so to speak. The foil packet is in this nice little plastic tub like so. My salsa is in a clear plastic bag. We're just gonna shove that in like so. And we're gonna take a little piece of the My Virgin Kitchen with us, uh, an authentic, my virgin kitchen fork, so that's going in there as well. We'll just plonk a lid on it, and then we're gonna set off. Uh, I must remind you that I do not live in the Caribbean, I live in the southwest of England, and it's very windy and potentially quite minging, if you don't know what the meaning of that word is. Not very nice, the weather out there, so it could be quite windy. Apologies if you don't hear me. Uh, let's get walking. Okay then guys, I've just reached my destination. It probably doesn't look like too much, it's a load of bushes, but I've got to walk all the way up there and right to the end and you might see some sea, you might get excited. Um, I'm in the car park right now and this car park is sometimes known for um, an activity. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but if you think of the word catting and change the animal, yeah. That goes on big style in here, my friends. Anyhow, let's start walking. Um, my lunch is ready. I hope you are too. Well guys, I've got to admit, it's getting a little brighter right now. Look, there's a little bit of scenery there for you. Um, yeah, I'm a little out of breath already, so uh, I don't want to say much, but I kind of wish I didn't dress for the line, the wish in the wardrobe. I need to get my Bermuda shorts on, baby. Let's keep walking. All right then, folks, I've literally just walked around about 200 meters and that's it, and I'm pretty out of breath already. There's a couple other cars down there and I haven't seen anyone else yet, so I kind of feel like I'm in a scary movie. It's getting a little bit brighter. We'll have a little bit of a scenic view in a minute. I'm suddenly realizing how unfit I am, but we'll keep moving. Look, stinging nettles. Kind of cool. Do not touch them. They will sting your hands, although you can cook with them. Yeah. I'm tired. Well guys, I'm up pretty high now. In the distance is the sea. It's my hometown and stuff over there. But I need to show you something very important that as a kid I once learned. Uh, this, my friends, can you see that down there? That is sheep. That is sheep. Uh, it's not coffee beans, okay? So do not make the mistake I did. Worst cup of coffee I ever, ever drank. Just keep walking. Okay, gentlemen, guys, I just want to quickly show you this is something I've dreamt about, right? Over there is just the old pier. It's a big old pier. Hence the name Old Pier. Um, one day that thing is going to be mine. I'm going to put a big restaurant on it and you're invited. Check that out. Amazing. That's the old pier. Let's keep walking. 
Okay, so when I first heard of this concept, what I thought to myself was, yeah, we're gonna get the most amazing flaky fish, but guys, get real with me here. We're like doing commando style stuff. It's gonna be last resort. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. I need to eat lemony fish. That's what we're doing. You're not gonna get supple flaky fish like you just pulled it out of the sea like that, and you know, you're grilling it for hours. You're not gonna get that, okay? So just deal with it, okay? You just see what happens. If the salmon don't work, we'll just eat the cod, and then we'll go to McDonald's on the way home and get a salad. Okay guys, I'm really near the edge of the point right now and it's actually starting to spit with rain. I haven't even got an umbrella, so it was going like really nasty weather, really nice for a bit, and then really nasty again. And we got brown sea as well, look at that. Welcome to England, kind of doing a tourist video. So what I was thinking was, if you're gonna actually have a go at doing this, I'd probably bake the fish around about five minutes, just for peace of mind, first of all. Don't do what I'm doing, it's a little, uh, it's a little bad. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get sit down now and see if it's works, right? And then I'm gonna run home to my kitchen. Yeah. Okay then guys, I just got to the end of the point and I tried to film and eat it there and it was pretty windy. Uh, let me show you what that was like. Okay, I just tried to have my lunch, you probably can't see it, but it's very, very windy here. So we're gonna find somewhere else to go and eat it. Yeah. Okay, so it's time to eat it. I found a spot that's less windy now. Over there, literally just down there, like 10 meters, it's like But here, it's fine. The salmon is not so good, my friends. I had a little bit of that, I had a bite. It was tough at one bit. The other bit was like, I'm not sure about that. But the cod is all good. So I'm gonna get some of my salsa now. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed, bear with me. Okay, some salsa on there. I had to speed up the video, it's hard to do it one-handed. And it's starting to rain, so uh, yeah. Let's just mix this through a little bit. Do, 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 do. Have some salsa and some authentic lemon fish. Here we go. That is good. That is really, really good. So if I can do that, outside of my kitchen, just walk in, absolutely anyone in the world can. Bake it, like I said, if you want for peace of mind. Have a go for yourself. Let me know how you get on and I'll see you again next time indoors and it's starting to rain. Cheers then. Ah, oh, my car smells like a fish protest.